I took a turn for the worst last night. My uh, fever went up to 109. And my size just started killing me. My size and my stomach, it was just like the most pain that I've been in so far. My mom said it's because maybe I was still on anesthesia when I first came, but I don't know. So, we're on our way to Dr. Gerf's office for my post-op appointment at 8. It's 7.37 right now. I just threw on a really baggy, oversized dress. You guys, I'm like really out of breath. You guys, this is my first car ride. Post out. And um, this is how I found it to be the most comfortable. I'm not turning my head to face you guys. I'm really uh, focused. I got my knees on my butt pillow. My feet are underneath the um, front seat. Over the back seat. Feels okay. <sighs> Dr. Gerf's office is like 10 minutes from here, so I will talk to you guys then. I'm about to go walking in my hallway. This would be the longest walk that I've done so far. So let me just take you guys on the journey. Down here. This boy just gonna walk. It's so much going on, babe. One thing I can say I genuinely enjoyed about where I stayed at is that there were other women recovering as well. So in this video, you may hear someone going through like some pains in the back. She was walking the halls as well. So it's nice to have like your own Airbnb and your own space. But then when you walk the halls, you have other people recovering with you when you guys can exchange notes. And it's just good to feel like you're not by yourself. I'm walking all of this. They had to talk about Faha today. And I hated it. It made my body really, really hot. I don't really like that. So I'm just trying to keep walking. Let the blood circulate. I'm just trying to heal as fast as possible because when I get back to Atlanta, baby, I need to go to work. My arm is getting tired. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh. How are you feeling? Good. How are you? Good. You have yours yesterday, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, and you're walking so strong already. Yeah, my mom woke me up every three hours so I could walk around the room. So now I'm just like walking nice. farther. <laughs> We just went for um, the massage. Oh, I didn't get my massage yet. Oh. She's coming at two. Oh. I'm so scared. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot, but do you feel better after? They said you're supposed to feel better after. I, um, I think after, like, when you keep on getting the massage, it starts to numb the pain, but right now, no. I'm good. No? Because I don't have the drain machine. So mm. they, poke, they take a stick and they poke it. Jeez. How many days post up are you? This is gonna be my, my fourth day. Your fourth day? Yeah, but the massages it's like messing me up. Oof. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, have a nice day. Okay you guys, so we're heading to uh, <clears throat> We're heading back to Dr. Gerf's office, but this time we're going to go get the IV because I have low iron. He suggested that I get an IV treatment and it'll be like other nutrition, other vitamins and stuff in there. So 
that's where we're off to now. I will record the process when I get there. Go ahead. Start the IV here, and then we're gonna sit out there. Oh, okay. So go out there. You can. I'll start it out there, <laughs> so you don't have to be moving back and forth. Thank you. Go ahead. I'll come out to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my biggest thing when I sit down, show them from the side view. I don't want my butt to touch nothing, so this has to be like right underneath my thighs. down as slow as possible. Can you lift this part up? Can you help me with this pillow on the side? Yeah. Yeah? I just want to pull it up. No, 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 up so it's like at the top of my bed. Thank you. I'm good? Yeah, so show them. This is So I'm not staying on my butt. Oh. I have an incision at the top of my back too, though, so it hurts. Can they see me? But like you're not showing my face. Do you have the follow up today? Yeah. Yeah. This one at eight. So I was here earlier at eight. At eight now? It was in the morning. until we could do the IV so we didn't go back to the hotel. Yep. But I was too tired. I was like, let's just go back to the hotel and come back. He's prepared right now the IV? Yes. So we'll be around 20 minutes. Maybe. Okay. That part? No. What's she doing? Mm -hmm. No. I'm not saying when she does that. You put it like that. Okay. But with the IV, it will be right because half all the vitamin you lost yesterday. Okay. I need to go just for a boost. Boost of myself. Sitting down really do be the hardest. I don't know. It just like feels like everything is intense and tight. I'm not supposed to sit on my butt at all. It's not about it being soft or hard. It's just not like my butt's not supposed to be soft. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they got a butt pillow. This is the ivy. Is that a butt pillow? No. <laughs> oh. It is, but we use it for a different purpose. Oh, oh. It is one? It is. It's a hemorrhoid pillow. Oh. But we don't use it for that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so don't worry. See, this is a better one, though. <laughs> this is better than the one I yes, have. Yes, it's a hemorrhoid pillow. But we use it for arms. Gotcha. 
about to get an ivy dream and yeah. it's green. Everything is green here. <laughs> green is your favorite color? No. Yeah. Every time in the owners, eh? that's the same. <laughs> So right here, I'm just really getting the IV in my arm. I got the IV treatment because I am anemic and I was told that iron was supposed to be in the IV so therefore I wouldn't feel dizzy um, while in recovery. But the man is gonna explain everything that's in the bag and my doctor did not tell me the truth. There's no iron in that IV bag, but you know, they may have a partnership, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so the IV is in you guys. And if you could just tell me one more time what's all in the ivy bag that I'll be getting. It's called the Sativa for Life sativa. and it's got vitamin C. You want to be in the vlog? B complex. No, okay. Uh, B complex, it's got amino acids. Mm -hmm. um, and we added some biotin mm -hmm. and we added extra B complex. B complex is B1, B2, B3, B6. And just to confirm, iron is in here? Iron is not, no. That was, that's what we needed though. That's why Dr. Griff told me to get it. Cause I don't have any iron. This is Yeah. But well, we got, it's got B12. And B12 helps to promote iron production. Is there one with iron though? No. No. There's yeah, none with iron. Yeah. Okay. Overall, I don't feel like it's the absolute thing that you have to do, but I didn't mind doing it. It was pretty cool to do for post-op because you can't do much for post-op. And it did make me feel good. Um, I don't know how I would have felt without it because I never had the surgery without it. So if you were interested, I would do it, but it's definitely not mandatory like your massages. Okay, you guys, so my massage lady just came here. I'm about to get my first massage. I'll let you know, she brought a whole table. How cute. Um, <laughs> I'll let you guys know um, on a scale of 1 to 10 how bad the pain is. And I'll be back. I really do need a massage. My body hurts. I heard the massage just makes it hurt more. But <laughs> we're going to wish for the best. Okay. You're going to be fine. You guys, my massage therapist did a great job. Like, I felt a lot better. Now, while she was doing it, I didn't feel better. Hold on, let me turn you guys this way so you can actually see me. You guys, my massage therapist did a great job. Like, I feel so much better now. But as she was doing it, it was very painful. It just like burnt a lot. But um, yeah, my body does feel so much better. And I can't put on my five for 20 minutes. I'm about to take a bath, a shower, and I'm just clean up and then put my five back on. And my body is T. I wish I could show you guys. Now that I took the five off, the, the hip, the stomach, the leg ratio, all fire. Fire. Very excited. Hi guys, so it's day two post-op. Uh, not doing the best. Um, my bed is so uncomfortable, that bed is rocks. And then I try to sleep on the couch. I don't think that's gonna work either. I just, my body is sore and very, very tense. So you got your massage? I did get my first massage. Um, she's actually supposed to be coming here now to to come. She told me, but um, I'm just not feeling. I'm not feeling good at all. I'm just gonna try to walk it out. I've been walking a lot just so I can keep my body in motion. But y'all, I'm tired. Like, I just wanna sleep comfortably. And I can't sleep comfortably. That's all I really need is to sleep comfortably. And it's not gonna happen in that bed. That bed is stiff. It is a board. It is a board. So yeah, um, let's go walk the hallway. 
I have a rash on my nose. I don't know why. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Hey you guys, I just finished up my second massage. It felt so much better than the first one. I got a lot of fluid out. She told me I have to compress the front part of my stomach because that's where most of my fluid buildup is getting. Um, I didn't get boards. Dr. Griff said he was gonna get me boards. I never got boards. Um, tomorrow, Dr. Gurf's assistant told me that I'll be getting another Faha. I never got the other Faha. So, <clears throat> we'll be going to the Faha store tomorrow. And until then, because they're closed today, we just had to use some of like the bed padding and like stick it in here so that my stomach can receive that compression that it needs so that it's not as much fluid buildup. So, yeah. After. Shout outs to my um, massage lady for even showing me how to do this. Um, I'm on the third loop now of my Faha and I still have the pads in here for compression. Also, I will be recording tomorrow when I go to the store. I'm gonna, um, I need to get another Faha. I need to get some more compression socks. I need to get the pee, the pee bag, like I need to get the Ending up pee bag. I don't have that. So, yeah, I can't wait to go to the Faha store tomorrow. And I definitely need another Faha, a stage two. You need a black one. Yeah, I, I'm going to get a black one. So, yeah, you guys, um, I really had a horrible night's rest, but that massage helped me. Oh, and also, she told me how to sleep on the bed better. Because remember, I told y'all that bed is a bag of rocks. It is. But she said just to put like some pillows and stuff on it um, because the bed is supposed to be firm that's how you recover but just to make it like more comfortable that I can put um, some pillows on it so um, I'm gonna take me a nap though and then when I wake up I'll get back on here all right you guys so this is how I get in the bed it's been a struggle to get in and out of bed so I just wanted to show you guys how ridiculously stupid I look. Um, so first, I gotta attach my blood bag to something that's not gonna get in my way. Got me. Make sure that's good. Okay. And then, my legs have been feeling like they can't operate because I'm carrying this wagon. <laughs> and they really can't operate. Put the leg, the other leg up first. Okay, you got it. The pain that I was feeling going in and out of bed was top tier and my legs genuinely felt like they could not move. I'm not gonna speed up this video. I want you guys to see how long it took me to go in and out of bed because it really did take this long every time for a month. Okay? It's so painful. I hate getting in and out of bed. This is the worst part. This is the worst part. Help me. You okay now? I need another pillow. Okay, for where? My head. Okay, well, recording done.